In this video, we're going to take a look at solar power plants. We'll define exactly what sunlight is. We'll take a brief look at the solar energy industry, and then we'll look at the two main ways of harnessing energy from the sun and the different types of solar power plants that are available to us. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is sunlight? Well, sunlight is a portion of the electromagnetic radiation given off by the sun. Infrared, ultraviolet and visible light are examples of this electromagnetic radiation. We can refer to this as radiant energy and the sun gives off a lot of it. The sun itself is essentially a huge fusion reactor. When we try and harness the energy from the sun, we're only ever going to extract a minuscule, very, very tiny amount of energy. Only that energy that's directed at us, at our receiver, at any given time. It's estimated that the amount of sunlight that strikes the Earth's surface in an hour and a half is enough to handle the entire world's energy consumption for a year. In short, the amount of energy that's coming from the sun and hitting our planet every single hour is colossal. You might be wondering, why are we not harvesting all of this energy and converting it to useful work? The main reason is cost. Solar technology has been around for quite some time, but initially, the costs associated with producing the equipment needed to harness the energy from the sun were too high to make this economically viable. It was a lot cheaper simply to build a coal-fired power station than it would have been to invest the money in the solar energy industry. Times have, however, changed. Technology has advanced over the last 50 years and the costs of installing a solar power plant have reduced considerably. Between the years 2010 and 2020, it's estimated that the cost of installing a solar power plant has reduced by half. This means that solar power is becoming economically viable. As this trend continues, more money will be invested in the solar industry, we'll find more applications for the technology, and the financial costs will keep diminishing due to the economics of scale. Here's a nice diagram showing the world's electrical production by source in 2019. You can see that coal and natural gas make up almost two thirds of electrical production. After that, hydro, which is a renewable type of energy, makes up the third largest sector. The installed megawatt capacity of the solar industry might seem, when you look at this diagram, to be quite small, but things are changing and they are changing quite quickly. Non-renewable energy sources are becoming less and less popular. It's quite difficult nowadays to get funding to build a coal-fired power station. People don't want coal-fired power stations. They want renewable forms of energy. Not only that, but the price of coal, oil and gas has been increasing over time. This makes them less economically viable as energy sources than they were in the past. Due to this, the applications of renewable energy sources have been growing considerably. And this trend accelerated even further in 2022 during the energy crisis. Solar energy has now become a viable solution for handling some of the world's energy needs. But how exactly do we harness the power from the sun and convert that into an energy form that we can use? There are two main ways of doing this. The first way is a direct conversion from sunlight to electricity. We can achieve this using flat photovoltaic solar panels. I've actually got a solar panel here. You can see that it's flat, hence the name, flat plate, and it's full of semiconductor material. This material allows us to harness the energy from the sunlight and convert it to direct current. This means that electrons connected to our solar panel will begin to flow in one direction. This is a direct current system. We can take our solar panel and install it onto a solar tracker. Here's a good if you want to use any of the 3D models shown in this video, then head on over to Savory.com. We've got over 400 engineering 3D models that you can use directly through a web browser in AR or VR. If you want to learn more about engineering, we've got over 45 hours of engineering video tutorials and courses at Savory.com. And you can learn about valves, pumps, power stations, electrical transformers, and many other common engineering machines and processes. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your time.